Ford dealers of America who sell and service Ford cars and Ford trucks present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Sure everything's in here. Yeah, there's the peanut butter sandwiches and, uh, let me see, uh, Hmm. You only put two apples in. Oh, I should have put three in. I'll get another one. Well, we'll put it in later. No, there's a third one right there at the bottom. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the lemonade? That's uh, I got that in the car. Oh, good. <laughs> Better take a blanket along. It's still a little chilly. Yeah. <laughs> well, call Fran. Okay. Oh, Fran! Yay! Oh, Fran! Yes! Come on! Come on, Fred, we're going on a picnic. We're going, we're going to, this is the first picnic of the season. We're going to go in our, in our 50 Ford convertible. We're going to take a long drive in the country. Oh. And, and then we're going to spread out a blanket and a, and a towel oh. and, a, and, a, and papers. And we're going to have a, a, a big spread. Uh, we're going to eat. You going on a picnic today? Sure, come on, Fred. The car's waiting outside. I can't go today. What do you mean you can't go today? To practice my music lesson. You have to what? I have to practice my violin lesson. Violin lesson? <laughs> but yeah, do you play the violin? No, I don't think you could say I really play it. <laughs> Madame Ogopus is teaching me. What for? Why can't you kids go tomorrow? Well, we're, we have it all planned for today. Our little 54 is all waiting outside and ready to go. I want to go today, Fran. You going to go without me? I don't want to go without you. We can't do it tomorrow because we've got baseball practice tomorrow. Baseball tomorrow? Yeah. Gee whiz, I don't know what to do. Guess you have to go to Dayton. Hmm? Well, I suppose we, well, we don't have to go, no. We'll oh, go on and go. No, we'll stay oh, here. Oh, no. What are you practicing for? What's the big occasion? Ladies trio. <laughs> what do you mean, ladies trio? What? Madame Ogopus, culture. You mean a musicale? When? I don't know. Maybe. When we get good enough. Well, what's, 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 uh, who's, who's playing? Beulah Witch, Madame Ogopus, me. <laughs> I'd be worth sticking around for. No, no, Summer I... evening, concerts. Summer evening concerts? Prologues. Who's, who's playing what, aren't I supposed to know? I don't know, I haven't been able to recognize anything we've practiced. <laughs> Do you recognize the instruments? Vaguely. You know what they look like? Yes, I have a general idea. What do they look like? Maybe we'd recognize them. Well, I'm playing the violin. Gee, I bet you're great at that, too. But don't don't hurt your chin when you play the violin. Be sure oh, to, I know. You've got to put a pad under it. So. I, I have something. Yeah. You really, I, you shouldn't be worried. Beulah Witch is playing the cello. Beulah Witch? How can she play it? She's been flying it. <laughs> well, she's playing it. So. Great. Kuka. Mad Mogulpus plays the harp. No. Not the harp. <laughs> I don't think we'd better go. This ought to be a real oh, good time. Oh, go on, I'm embarrassed. Go on. You go. go. We'll, we'll, we'll be back. Hope you'll have a good time. Oh, we'll miss you, cutie. We planned on it. We got We put in apples for you and everything. Did you? Yeah. What kind of sandwiches? Peanut butter and jelly. White bread. Gee, my very favorite. Cut the crusts <laughs> off, too. Did you? Off just the one for you. <laughs> kind of wasteful, I know, but it, we made it fancy for you. Cut pickles, too? Sweet pickles and garlic dill. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a... We have tangerines, too. Mm. Probably a couple of tangerines, because I don't eat them. I just love to peel them, too. Yeah, me, too. I love tangerines, but they're hard for me to eat. Are they? See, it's getting my tooth. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kook, I guess we better go. Well, have well, a good time. It probably won't be any good. It'll probably rain. It'll be real cold anyway. And it wouldn't be good for you to go anyway, because after all, you might get cold or something, you know, and we'll just scout out the territory and find good places at the picnic when it gets warmer. Yeah, I might ruin my arm anyway. Well, I'll see you. Poor kid. Yeah, that's a shame. She really wants to go. It's a perfect day for a ride, too. 
Even if we even if we don't stop for a picnic, we could always just sit park somewhere near the lake or something and just sit in the car and eat. Doggone it, that's not any fun. She could have brought her ukulele. Your violin. <laughs> I wouldn't I don't think Fran's a violin type. No, she doesn't. Ukulele more suits her kind of a guitar or something. Or maybe even the piano, but not the violin somehow. I don't think of her as a violin type. Me either. Well, shall we go? Okay, but my heart's not in it. I'll get the car started. Okay. Pull it around the front, will you? Why? Well, I don't want to carry everything all the way around the back of the garage. Okay. See you soon, Fran. Okay. Lots of good luck. Thanks a lot. Practice the art. <laughs> Maybe we could get some work this summer. <laughs> so long. Probably get time for it. Yeah. Bye. Go Bye. on, Cook. Okay. We'll do it again, Fran. Okay. Have a good time. We will. Francis! Francis! Yes. Come, come, come. Time, time. Time for the left? Yes, dear, how are you? Fine. How's your chin? Get yeah. the splinters out all right? <laughs> well, let that happen again. I wouldn't, dear. Quite dangerous, you know. You must get a firm grip on it. Mm -hmm. Very good for the neck muscles, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you look like you were lopsided yesterday, but you're all right today. Fine. Well, would you get your instrument, please? And your music. You must really work this out, you know, dear. <laughs> Better get a table, dear. I think the reason I didn't play so good yesterday is because I couldn't get the bowl out of here. <laughs> Found out how now. Be careful, dear. Don't drop your instrument. It's a lovely instrument. Wait till I get the tape. Fine. Right. Already? No, I forgot the stand. Francis, dear, for going to be a great musical trio, you know. Cuckoo Poet and Ladies Auxiliary. Woman's Symphony. <laughs> what in the world is that? What? What you've got under your chin. I don't know. I found it back there. All right, dear. Let's just practice. The, let's just start with a few exercises for the violin alone. I'll give you some tempo here. I, that thing interferes, Madam Ogopus. I keep wanting to play night and day. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You're a little out of tune there, dear. Mm -hmm. No, no, dear. Uh, you tune it up with the keys up in the top there. You're not in time with it. Metronome, dear. That's better. All right, let's, let's just try a few pieces we're going to try tonight. Now, you know you and I are going to do a solo. Well, I should say well, not a solo, but a double. You and I, I will accompany you at the harp. Now, remember, I think dear. if we went our own separate ways, we'd be so much better off. No, dear. No, I will come to you at the half now. You and I will do this right after the first intermission. <coughs> <coughs> I 
I think we're playing in different keys. <laughs> that could be. Dear, I don't think you're quite right on pitch. Well, let's continue anyway. From the front? No, from there. <laughs> Please, you, your violin has a very strange tone. It sounds a little like a trombone or a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, let's try it again. Got a better grip on a doob. Here we no, go. dear, no. That's well, after God, please. <laughs> All right. Well, let's twirl again. All right. <clears throat> I'll give you a few chords. <laughs> Trace is a classic. My dear, does he write for the violin? Mm -hmm. All right. Show me what you were doing with that interesting different fingering. Excuse me. <coughs> no, the other way, you know, you, like you were playing a left-handed violin. Well, that's the way we did it. Oh, you know something I was thinking of? I might be able to get closer to the harp if I played it from this end. And if I could. Much better! <laughs> Wonderful! I'm going to try a few chords right well, now. Let's start from the end of the piece then. Wouldn't that be better? <laughs> Do it backwards? I think so. That might be a very amusing lark, my dear, but hardly true to the composer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, dear, I, I don't really quite understand the entire um, procedure of this, this lesson. It just, I don't know, somehow I had much more hope for you. Really, dear, if we're going to play, you and I and Beulah are going to play together, you know. It's going to, it's going to take a lot of concentrated practice. Some of the most beautiful things in the world were written for the string trio. You know that, don't you? Well, don't you think we ought to try to interpret them beautifully? Francis, your mind is not on this at all. What in the world is the trouble? I want to go for a ride. You what? had an invitation to go for a ride. Well, why didn't you go then, my dear? I'm true to my art. We must all make many sacrifices. Many sacrifices. You know, I have had to do that along the years. Many of them, many things I wanted to do. But a young girl who has a career in front of her must, must really give up many personal pleasures. I did. I gave up my very favorite sandwiches. Perhaps you'd better go to your room and practice by yourself. I'll call rehearsal in a few moments. Hold it for you.
Are you doing that? Yeah, I was doing that. Well, you're making a mistake. Why? <coughs> when we're driving the car, you have to have a motor noise. Yes, but in our little 50 Ford, you know, the, the hushed purr of the mighty Ford engine whispers. Oh, okay. That sounds like we're sailing along over the ocean. Well, it feels like we're sailing through the air. <laughs> oh, little 50 Ford has such power. Oh, look, Koopa. Isn't that beautiful? Look there. Look over there. Look, there's a the horse. Oh, yeah. How does it look? Look, he's frisky. He's running through the fields. Oh, I wish Frank could see that. Isn't that wonderful? That's just like spring. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the road. Who, me? Yeah. Who's driving? You are. Oh, am I? Great. That's nice. <laughs> oh, boy, this is wonderful. Ooh, yeah, a little 50. Ford is the only V8 in the low price field. Mm-hmm. Boy, listen to that old a little motor just hum, purrs. Hushed purrs. Yeah, hushed purrs. <laughs> 100 horsepower V8 engine, you know. I know. And, you know, this is a V8, isn't it? Yeah, but you know, Fran, Fran's a uh, little uh, 50 Ford. Uh, she has a companion in quality with a 95 horsepower 6. Oh, yeah, I know that. Boy, oh boy, this is great. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like just driving along in the open country. <laughs> Your 50 Ford convertible, especially when it's spring. <sighs> Keep your eyes on the road. All right. No, no, up here. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Straight away there. Not a thing in sight. We can just zoom along and have a great time. We can just zoom. Coop. What? I miss Fran. I do, too. She usually sits right here in the middle. So much room in the front seat. Yeah. Kind of nice. Singing songs to us. Maybe we have a radio on and, and, and she sings to us. Yeah. Maybe we ought to turn around and go back and, instead of having a picnic. Might be kind of fun to see if the girls get a trio worked out. I think it might be. Should we turn the car around and go back? Sure. Let's turn the car around and go back. A uh, Koopa, oh, hello there, Cecil Bit. Oh, for gracious sake. Why is I live and breathe a harp? Well, I don't know whose it is, but it's uh, isn't that a lovely harp? My gracious sakes. What's a harp? Why, it's inside a piano. Somebody must be taking a piano around somewhere. <laughs> Dear me, I hope that I hope that nobody finds that out. Gracious sakes, probably something wrong with the felt. They need to be picked or something. Say, I wonder if it really works. <laughs> well, I I know that you usually pluck it with your fingers, but I perhaps might try it with my tooth. Let's just see what happens. Well. <coughs> All right, you try it. Oh, that's wonderful. 
Oh, say, that's great. <laughs> well, I'm going to try it again with my tooth. Maybe we could sort of pluck it. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. Toy, 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 toy. Oh, my, my tooth's caught in the string. Toy, 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 toy. Toy, 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 toy. Toy, toy. Yeah, toy, toy. Oh, I think I'll be so embarrassed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh Madam oh. Oglepuss will have a I'm terribly sorry. I, I didn't take it out of the piano. I just found it here. That's all right. Oh, oh, thank you. Gracious sakes, I was... What in the world is it for? I don't know. It's an idea of Madame Oglepuss. Who knows? <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't fool around with it, though. She's very fond of it. Oh, something going to happen today? Yes, she has big plans for it. Oh, that's just wonderful. Well, <laughs> my... Certainly a lovely instrument. Indeed it is. Yes, it is. Well, I'd like to escape her plans if I could, so I'll leave. Oh, you leaving? Well, see you later, Francis. Is everybody ready for practice? Uh-oh. Pardon me. <clears throat> everybody on the stage, please. Ready? I'm going to try it out. Fran? Yes? You ready, Beulah? Not ready, but I'm here. I'm cornered. She caught me. How's it going? There. Just about to sail out on my broomstick. Your broomstick? I was just about to sail out on the broomstick. What happened? She slammed the window shut. Couldn't get out. Oh. <laughs> Fuel, what do you suppose is this? Shouldn't sound like that, should it? What kind is it? Let me see. Little... Gem dandy. <laughs> Maybe it's a bank. Maybe that's money. Shake it and see. Do you think it might be? And what am I supposed to do with this today? Well, I don't know. Hey, why. look at the harp. <laughs> you play a harp? Well, no, but I've seen a few people playing them. Have you? Mm-hmm. A couple of flights I made one. Mm. Oh. Be wonderful to see. Well, hmm? Bill, I'm, I think I'll go. I have to practice a what little bit. What am I bit. supposed to do? Well, I think you play that. Hello, girls, already? That's fine. Where's your instrument? I don't know. What am I supposed to play? <laughs> Got my trombone. <laughs> the cello. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, the cello. I'll be glad when I get to the double stops. <laughs> it's getting very dull. <laughs> dear, would you mind removing... Look, dear, my dress is <laughs> caught on that. Oh. Very sharp point. Be careful. There are a great many hazards of Lady Chella <laughs> has to go through. Yippee! You are. Hmm? Well, now I suppose I slapped the bass, huh? No, Beulah. Dee dee dee. No, I... Dee dee dee. Dee dee dee. Dee dee dee. Well, I told you. Well... Where's your bull? Oh, he's downstairs waiting for me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll go along with it. All right, now, ladies, this is good. Forgot my sash, just a minute. Your what? Well, hurry up now, dear, please. It's going to be very important. Big day. I tell you, a girl should wear slacks when she plays these things. I know it. I didn't think it was a very wise choice. No, no, let's go. Let's tune up, please. Let's all tune up. I'm going to say we'll stay down. <coughs> what a shape. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, girls, are you ready? Here we go.
Beulah! Come on! Nice eye. I wonder I wasn't getting the right tone. Well, it's kind of evil to me. Let's give up this whole thing. This is ridiculous. Me too, Beulah. I'm with I'm you. I'm sick and tired of it. No, girls, girls, please. I don't like this instrument, really. I said it's not for me. Better for flying. The whole thing is ridiculous. Well, really, Beulah, honestly. Honestly, what? If you want to direct the string trio, why don't you do it then? Write your own arrangements. I don't care. I really don't. It makes me quite upset. we rehearsed and rehearsed, and I've had it in my heart to do all these things. Honestly. Oh, oh, wait, Matt. Oh, oh Doc! Oh, wait. Wait, maybe. Oh, maybe. slam that thing at me! branch of the Vito family. Eula, isn't that wonderful? Spike Jones said it to me. Oh, it's wonderful. Let's try that arrangement this way, shall we? if we all joined Kukla and Ali and went for a ride. That's for me! Me too! Because <laughs> I know just one thing, indeed. May not know much about music, but I know my cars. Remember, for economy, it's the 50 Ford. Beauty, comfort, and all-round big car performance combine to make the big new Ford the one truly fine car in the low-price field. And it's a real economy car, too. Low in first cost and high in resale value, inexpensive to maintain and thrifty on gas and oil. So before you buy any car at any price, drop by your neighborhood Ford dealers. Get the facts on Ford economy. Then take the wheel and test drive the big new Ford. This is Bert Hilstrom speaking. To quote uh, Miss Beulah Witch, I might say, uh, Hello, kids. It's been great, great, great being with you. Remember, before you buy any car at any price, first test drive the one fine car in the low price field, the 1950 Ford. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television. <laughs> <laughs>